watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. Did you know that only 10% of children report sexual abuse? The collective silence surrounding this topic causes grave damage to millions of children and protects their abusers. In Hampton Roads, the organization Stop Abuse is teaching children to better protect themselves. Here to tell us more is Regina Marshider, Executive Director of Stop Abuse, and Anton Bell, the City of Hampton Commonwealth Attorney and member of Stop Abuse's Advisory Council. Thank you both for being here today. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. So Regina, tell us about the Stop Abuse program. Stop Abuse started about 30 years ago. In fact, Simon, who is the main character in our show, is going to turn 30 next, next year, and I think he looks pretty good. Uh, good so 30. the program started because I was doing some workshops for a Montessori school, and one of the teachers there thought that uh, two of her children were being molested and asked me if I had ever done any programming addressing that. And while I had done a lot of educational programs, I had never really done anything in that, in that particular vein. So I got together with a sexual trauma unit with the Virginia Beach Police Department and Child Protective Services. And uh, I knew after I met with them that I had the ability and therefore the responsibility to do something about this. So a couple of years of research and development, and I built my first show opened in Edenton, North Carolina, because you never open in your own city. And the first little child came forward. And I was kind of surprised because the program was designed to be preventive. And then when I found out that a child came forward, we had to put the brakes on and put some other parts into place. For example, uh, you know, we needed a safety net of professionals. We needed some information to give to teachers and counselors. Uh, so we have a four-part program, and the first part is where we give the teachers and counselors lesson plans, and then we do the show, we have the safety net, and then we also have an evaluation process afterwards. So the show is Simon Says Just Tell, right? Yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. Simon here is kind of like uh, your inner voice, your instinct. And, uh, and Simon gives children the courage to, uh, to tell if something's happening. And uh, basically the show is designed to help children recognize, prevent, and disclose sexual abuse. So uh, it's a story about two little children and uh, it's a day in the life of these, these children and they run into some sit situations they're not sure about and Simon shows them the way. And the little girl in the show is being abused by mommy's boyfriend, who she's about to marry. And Simon comes in and gives her the courage to tell to mom tell about somebody. it. Yeah. Great. Anton, why is it so important to get this show out there to children? Well, as a prosecutor, um, I have um, specialized in the prosecution of child molestations uh, for quite a number of years. And child abuse is a national epidemic. Uh, one out of every four girls and one out, of every, one out of every six boys will experience some type of child abuse. However, as you mentioned earlier, only about 10% will actually report it. And what a lot of people do not know is that is the silent crime or the taboo crime. Your next door neighbor could actually be a victim of such a crime and you not know it. It could be going on right underneath your nose. And so uh, we want to make sure we get the, the awareness out there and then be able to come to the rescue of those who are suffering it. Many times when I did prosecute those type of cases, I would discover that the abuse had been going on for years mm. and no one knew. Or the per perpetrator may have been in the home and the, and the child felt afraid and didn't have the courage to be able to share what was going on. And we all know that the ramifications of sexual abuse uh, could be anxiety disorders, suicide attempts, um, many of those kids can fall somehow into human trafficking. Really uh, traumatic. Very, kids. very aggressive behavior. And so you want to be able to address those issues up front and hopefully be able to save the kids from going into that type of lifestyle. So Regina, how is Stop Abuse helping to prevent um, the continuation of this epidemic? Anton talked a little bit about, you know, preventing. Um, tell me more about that. 
Well, I think that uh, Simon provides essential safety education to children so that they know what to look for. And, and, and when they find themselves in a situation, they know how to tell, who to tell. So the more children that we're able to educate, I believe, the more children will prevent this heinous crime. And Anton, you've really seen sort of firsthand yes. how impactful a program like this can be. Absolutely. You have, we have a team of uh, independent PhDs who actually will evaluate and analyze uh, qualitative and quantitative data to uh, make sure and ensure the effectiveness of the program. We uh, hand out um, um, packets to the teachers, the guidance counselors, and parents of the students so that they know what's going to take place. And then once you have the program, there is a safety net of professional CPS workers or, or police department personnel who are going to be right there on children. point to help any child that has the courage to come forth. And so it is extremely effective. That's wonderful. Is there a way that, that people can become involved and help? We always need donations. Yes. We need introductions to people who can become sponsors. We need volunteers. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an icky subject that nobody wants to talk about. So that makes it a very difficult cause to raise money for. So yeah, we're always looking for anybody who can help us bring more programs to more children and uh, help save these kids from abuse. And then also, don't be afraid of the paradigm shift. A lot of times, we don't want to talk about this type of subject in fear of maybe uh, that may happen to my child. I may expose my child to some type of uh, trauma by allowing them to hear this. But the more your child knows, the more armed and they protected are to protect themselves. your child is going to be. Regina, is there a way that people can find out more information, a website, social media sites for Abs Stop Abuse? Absolutely. They can go to uh, www.stopabuse.com, and we have another new website, a, a, a new um, email address, simonschampions at gmail.com. And so I'm sure anybody that you're who wants on to help, Facebook and Twitter oh, yeah, as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So like us on all of those. and. And just, you know, give us a holler and, and tell us that you want to help because we need all the help we can get. Thank you both so much for being here today. And thanks for the work that you're doing to help to protect our children. And thank you for helping yes. us get the word out. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we return, often called the watchdog of the Bay, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation fights for effective science-based solutions to the pollution that degrades the Chesapeake Bay. Coming up, we'll hear about the Foundation's efforts and how you can become involved.